Game developers these days try to always make better and more realistic graphics, but I absolutely suck at art, so I made a game without any of that. The relatively easy way here would be to make a game with voiceover that guides you through every single interaction like in many other games. But I thought that simple sounds already have a pitch, volume and waveform and with that you can already communicate a lot to the player. So I came up with a game where you have to find a key by the pitch of a sine wave which is constantly playing, while enemies are randomly spawning and playing a saw wave which shows you your distance to them. To get started I downloaded the sine and the saw wave from this not at all sketchy looking website. But for some reason Godot just didn't want to import the sine wave, even after re-downloading it. So I used a triangle wave and that worked fine. I seriously have no idea why. By the way, if you're also looking for a game dev challenge, join The Impossible Jam now and participate in the most difficult game jam in the world. But back to this game. Next up, I made a black background and some walls and wanted to add player movement, which definitely worked the first time and didn't take me 15 minutes. But there is still no sound playing and the game has no point. So I added this little guy, the key, which very much looks like a key. But I had to somehow figure out how to calculate the distance and translate it into the pitch. For that, I used the vector2.distance function and percent calculation, which maybe I had to look up, but I got it working. So now one of the last thing that were left was bouncing movement! So so I did get the movement to work and I did get the bouncing to work, but even after 20 open tabs and annoying people on Discord, I had no idea how to combine these two. So if you do, feel free to write that into the comment section. So another interesting thing I wanted to add were these dangerous looking enemies, which even through a bunch of error messages and random Godot bugs, I got working how I wanted them to. But I realized that they're just a pretty boring addition, so I threw away that idea as well. The last thing to do was a timer, which when it runs out ends the game and I also added a sound every time you switch directions. So now this is what the game looks or sounds like. The game obviously isn't a masterpiece, but I think it's fun to try out. And if you like this video, maybe watch that one next, where I talk about 0D games. Good luck.